Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Today I want to show you uh, what I got from Mixig. Came in this box, pretty cool. And uh, they've been pretty nice to me. They sent me this oscilloscope, pretty amazing. I love that scope. But what I want to show you is, you know, I kind of asked them, you know, I told them I'd like to review some of their probes. They sent me two of them, okay? And we're going to take a look at these guys, all right? This is the RCP 500. And I'm going to show you how we can use these current probes, okay? Got a little manual here, got this. I'll come over and kind of show you this stuff. But you know what? We're going to take a look at this. And I've got an audio amplifier I'm working on here. We're going to look at some current measurements, okay? Let's do it. All right, guys, I want to start off showing you the user guide. And this one looks like it's a Rogowski coil. So it's for AC measurements only. But the amazing thing is 15 hertz to 300 kilohertz, 1% accuracy. Really nice wide bandwidth, really great. And yeah, there we go. And current range 200 milliamps peak to 500 amps peak. So you can see kind of some of the other specs here, maybe. Can I show you that? Okay, let's look inside the box. All right, so inside these nice little cases they have, by the way, you know, nice little clips here, and, you know, well foamed up and all that stuff. You always get these little nice certificates that they actually quality inspect their stuff. And look at this, there's our Rogowski coil. So what's cool about these is you can wrap them around things so you don't have to disconnect things to put a wire through. And it shows you a direction right here, the arrow, so positive current's gonna flow that way, okay? And we have a USB C to, yep, there we go. So it runs off USB C power, but it also runs directly off of this new Mixig scope over here that I've shown in other videos. Show you real quick. There we go. It's an awesome scope. You can see a differential probe plugged in there, so it gets its power. And what's neat about that is instead of having to run uh, USB, you know, power off to the side like I do on a lot of these other probes, it's powered right there. So it's simple. Just have this, and that's it. You don't have to worry about uh, using this and this. But the other really awesome thing that they've done is they've made it so that unlike other big name brand scopes, see here's a USB-C, is and it's magnetic. You can see how it kind of just grabs. So you can plug it in and plug that in, and then uh, and then with this plugged in, you can go to any scope and power this guy up and use a, a normal BNC, which a lot of the big name brands they don't do that. All you get is that, and you're kind of stuck using their scope and their probes. And every time they change a series, you have to upgrade everything because they change everything. So, you know, Tektronics being one. <laughs> I've used lots of Tektronics scopes, and they had every time I upgraded to another series, had to upgrade all the probes. So, this is really awesome they did this. And so far, I've had very good luck with their probes. They have awesome probes. So let's take some measurements. All right, guys, so I plugged it right here, RCP 500. This is a differential probe, which I really like this as well, the DP750-100. And it has a switchable, 50X500. This one is not switchable. You just plug it in, the green light comes on. Then I turn on channel one since I'm there. And I'm putting it on AC since that's an AC only and it's current. So I'm going to select current. And all right, let's do it. Oh, and by the way, it is 10 millivolts per amp. So 100 times 10 millivolts would be 1 amp per volt. So I want to put this on 100x. I believe so. We'll find out. We'll, we'll uh, take a look at this, okay? And okay, guys, sorry about the messy bench. But what I'm going to do is I have my AC power cord right here, okay? It's coming from my Variac. And I've got it uh, using these alligator prongs. I've got it plugged in the IEC connector behind this amplifier. And I got the Rogowski coil looped in, okay? And 
So then down here I've got the on switch. So when I hit the on switch, we're going to capture a wave. Now let me show you the scope. Okay guys, so the scope's set up. What I'm going to do is I have two amps per division. I know I have a, an NTC inside the amplifier that's going to limit the current, so that's good. So I'm going to, I got the trigger level right here. I'm going to set it to about four amps, I think. Yeah, right around there. And... Uh, oh, and the other thing is a trigger right here. Let's move that trigger over here because it's just going to be a flat line before the trigger and we want to capture everything after. So right about there and right here. Okay, so I think I'm ready to go. Oh, and by the way, I've got it set up for 100 milliseconds per division because I want to capture a bunch of information and then we'll zoom in. Now it's 60 hertz, so we should see cycles at you know, 16 milliseconds. So we should get lots of cycles in here. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and, oh, single capture. Okay, put the scope on single. Now it's just waiting for me. So here it goes. Hopefully everything's good. Oh, there it goes. I didn't see anything. I thought I, thought I messed up the settings. But anyway, so there's the peaks and it's not too high. Like I say, I have an NTC in there, so it's one, two, three, four, about four, you know, divisions up. Now I can do the measure and measure peak and all that, but I just wanted to show you, you know, a quick video what it looks like. And we can see how it rises and then it drops down into continuous mode. So I can stretch that video out. Let me see. I can zoom in if I want to do that way. And then I can move this guy over here. And that's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> so you can see how the current's surging. Now it's, uh, you know, at first it's signing soil because it's filling up the capacitors, but as it fills them up, then it waits until it gets high enough and then it has a, a blip. And see, each time it's filled up a little bit more, so it's a little more flat, and then there's a, a, a you know, a spike, right? And so once we're continuous, we're just getting spikes. So the sinusoidal waveform would be, you know, connect, connecting all those things up. So it's sinusoidal, right? But uh, the diodes are reverse biased and then they're on. Reverse biased and they're on. So we get plus and negative spikes as the bridge rectifier lets current shoot through. And each one of those is one grid. That's two amp spikes. Now. That's two amp spikes just continuously, even though there's no load. Well, I mean, there's some bias because it's class A amp. It's actually biased at class AB right now, so it's not very heavily biased. So yeah, that's how much current we're getting. And just want to show you how easy it is to use these uh, Rogowski coils. Hey guys, um, oops, safety glasses always. Uh, I do use my Variac for a lot of AC projects, so that way I can put a fuse in there and limit it to what I want it to be. I've got a number of these Variacs. Uh, I've got one I built. I'll have to show you guys one day. But yeah, anyway, I got a lot of projects going on. I kind of got held up on this one. Uh, some bad chips and so on. You might have seen the video on the counterfeit ch chips. But I'm gonna finish this up. I've got the uh, Jat. Uh, power supply that I'm working on and I want to use this current probe. I'm going to do some more videos on this and I'm, we're going to do some investigation on power supplies to show you the difference of say switching power supplies versus you know the, the big old transformer with rectifier kind of diode. Okay uh, but these probes I think are super neat and I think it's cool that they give you this little guy here that you can use with any BNC scope and I think that's just a neat thing that they thought of and they offered that. It's not an accessory you have to buy. So this RCP500 is uh, list price, I think 129. Uh, look at the link down below. There's a um, coupon thing for $20 off right now. So um, that's, that's an excellent price. That's an amazing price. The bandwidth of this thing, it's just a great little, uh, I mean, if you look at other brands, let's say Fluke, Tektronics, people like that, these things are really expensive. So for just over $100, uh, it's 
pretty darn good buy. And the Mixig stuff, everything I've used for Mixig is really high quality. I mean, they do a really nice job. Um, that scope could be my favorite scope. Portable, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I love all these probes. And I've got another probe they sent me, which I'll do a video on this one too. And that current probe, along with this one, I've got some other current probes. I've got the Tektronix, well, I've got that Tektronix up there, which I think this probe will beat that one. That one's expensive still. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of some of the stuff I'm not using, right? Get rid of that Tektronix probe up there. Had it forever, so, you know. But, guys, so I've got some cool videos coming up where I'm going to show you what you can do with these probes. And, and um, we're going to do some investigation on power supplies. And I'm going to show you some interesting stuff, okay? So, stay tuned. And thanks for watching. Um, again, two big thumbs up to my patrons. Appreciate you guys. Um... God, between you guys and McSig and, you know, Kai Wheats and a few other people, um, Matrix has been helping me out. Uh, so, yeah, it's been, it's been helping my wallet because, yeah, I was actually spending way too much money on the channel. And, and so I've got a lot of stuff to work with. Got to get things cleaned up. I got lots of projects, but boxes of stuff here I got to show you guys. So... Got some projects to put together, some audio amplifiers and some power supplies. So, yeah, good things coming. Hey, and by the way, the comment section down below, leave me your comments. Uh, let me know what you're, any questions you have, things like that. But subscribe, please, uh, because I'm having a hard time keeping up with everybody. I try to answer as many as I can, but I hit the subscribers first. Uh, first, I hit the Patreons, and then I hit the subscribers. And so, yeah. Uh, you become a patron for as little as a dollar a month. Uh, links down below. Uh, that's truly appreciated. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to a great year and a lot of cool projects. So just had a rough month to start the year and some bad things happened. So anyway, we're kind of digging ourselves out of that. And yeah, looking forward to it. So thanks for watching and um, more videos to come real quick. And hopefully you like the little short one minute of things. I was at an EMI lab today and I posted that. So let me know what you guys think of those things too. Oh, and before I say goodbye, uh, two thumbs up to Mick Sig for sending me these probes. Truly appreciative of that. And I'm going to do more videos uh, demonstrating how to use these things and the value in them. And God, just... You know, I've used different probes for different makers, and I'm just looking at this one. I'm like, wow, some of the things I, I've i wanted done on other probes, it, it's like they did it on this one. Some of them have these gigantic loops. It's like, God, how many wires do you want me to put in that thing? <laughs> uh, but this one's nice. You can shape it like this. So you could go into a panel box, for instance, sh uh, loop that around, you know, a conductor. Uh, so, yeah, that's really handy and when they're too big they kind of get in the way sometimes so i like this one i don't know if it's too small because that'll hold a big wire and it's and you can shape it enough where you can loop it down and grab something so boy i think they hit the the size on that and the, and the little uh the way it grips anyway thanks makes egg appreciate it and um we're going to show some more videos with that and i'm going to show a video with this probe so, fun stuff. All right. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.